I'm trying to um, stretch this canvas. It's a, it's a new canvas that this company, Breathing Color, is having me test. And uh, uh, flexibility immediately is an issue with me with stretching it. I want to get this really taut. And I tell the surface is going to be good to work on. I don't know about the flexibility of the canvas. Um, I don't know, I have to paint on it yet, but I'm questioning the powder quality on the surface. The amount of powder doesn't seem like a lot. Um, but I know we use it to print on our big machines, our chiclets, and it works really good there. It's got some things that regular art canvases don't have a brighter luminosity. So, we'll see how it goes. If I can, staple it to the back, like here, in the back up here. I'm gonna, can't staple it here. I'm gonna have to um, staple it on the side so it'll pull tight on the front. I need to hear this like a drum. All right, we'll see how it go, I'll get back to you. Uh, so far I had to rip it out, it's not gonna be tight enough. I'm gonna rip it out now, and uh, I'm gonna restretch it. I think I'm gonna do it on the sides. I need this canvas to be tight. I'm not doing that for me right now. When I do that, I'll get back to you. All right, so now I'm gonna staple it on the side. See how it works. This way I can pull it tighter. I need a nice tight canvas. This might work. I like it already. Tell you what, staple, see, it's already got bumps. Staples go through good on this. That's what I'm talking about. Actually, this canvas is really good for stretching tight. That's gonna be awesome. Yep, pretty good canvas, Derek. Got good bounce now. I'll get back to you guys soon. Well, I had to staple it on the side. So now we're done, it's a lot tighter. So I'll let you see when I start this painting for Loma Linda. Take care. I thought I'd do a little something on the canvases I stretched. I stretched all of these down here. All of these. So, um, uh, these I cut on the side, so in order to get the nut real nice, tight canvas, that's, but uh, this one, I got the nice tight one, but I also just stapled on the back, and this is 
live canvas. It's that new canvas from Breathing Color that um, I'm going to be using. All right, well, hopefully today I start a painting. These are all the canvases I got to fill up. I'll see you soon. This canvas is pretty good. I guess uh, whenever I start a painting, I, I scratch the shapes and try to find the uh, spots that I'm going to lay in the detail later. Kind like this, I'm just trying to get the, I guess what people call blocking in, since I don't draw too much, I think art is sculptural. I love to just find the shapes, the abstract shapes that make the final image. Right around here I get serious and I start uh, defining my sections from my abstract form found some color, I found basically where my work's going to be, and I'm delineating, I'm trying to get serious with my work. You can only play so much until you, you have to finally start making it happen. Yeah, I start to get aggressive with my palette knife. Keep an eye on the video. As I go along, I'm gonna get really aggressive with a lot of paint, a lot of palette knife. I love using my palette knife. It kind of tightens up my thought process on the painting. Where are you folks from? Temecula. Oh, is there a bus here? Sorry? Is there a bus here? Yep. Yes, se oh, seniors. seniors. Oh, from Temecula? Yeah, we came here last year and you gave us a wonderful tour. Oh. <laughs> you know, this one about the gun, be is that gun behind the back? Yeah. Yeah, and he's got the trigger cocked. Yeah. Ooh. It's that tells the, a story. The holdout. Huh? Yeah, the holdout. He's cheating. Oh! Yeah, in the gunfight, he's cheating. He's gonna pull the gun from behind. Oh, yeah. wow! And that one fallen. That fallen, really yeah. resonates, doesn't it? You see it? the shadow of the guy who shot him? No. That's the cowboy hat on the ground. Can you see it? Yeah, I'll show you. Oh! I'm doing more photography than painting. Oh, you are? I do a little bit of everything. 
Awesome. These cowboy ones here remind me of a, a guy who lives out in 29 Palms, Chuck Kaplinger. Uh huh. You know of him? No, I don't. Which cowboy pieces? Oh, the ones with different ones with guns and stuff. Oh. Because he does a, uh, oh, some he, things. I used to do like shows that. with people like that, you know, but, mm -hmm. you know, I since I've had my own gallery, I don't really do that. I just quit doing it. I like doing my video logs. It's like, uh, it's different. We, the last two weekends, we just had our art studio tours in uh, Joshua Tree in Yucca Valley in 29 Palms. Oh, wow. And that is so, mm -hmm. you would find that very interesting. You're probably too busy here this time of year on the weekend. Yeah, this time, that's a problem. Yeah. I missed the show in Redlands, and I'm selling work in Redlands, but uh -huh. it was in Apple season. Yeah. You need to do the shows, but you know, if you do a show and you don't make money, yeah, there's nothing worse than that. Yeah, nobody wants to show off, you know, <laughs> you want to live. I'm going to check that um, thing out. That might be something I might be interested in. Tell your friends about me. Okay, I will. Yeah, I'm tired of being a secret. <laughs> yeah, you, maybe you need more gigantic signs outside with arrows pointing up here. Yeah. <laughs> I did that at one time and I did shows and there's so much politics and all, I just walked away. Yeah. I'm like... But I like my new plein air painting thing. Park and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, that's Someone awesome. Someone to go hiking with or something. Oh, yeah. Or eat pizza with. Call us up. Oh, eat pizza with. <laughs> All right. Thank you.
get really aggressive with the pilot knife. I got a lot of feet going. I mean business right here. I love when I can start a meeting with a brush and just kind of indicate what I want to say. But the palette knife reinstates things I really need. Me painting is like it's a language of sorts. And I get to speak out loud with my palette knife. I love to paint. You know, my intention is uh, not to bore you with uh, a long video. I just wanted you to feel the aura and the ambiance of the things that are around me that allow my paint and my brush to speak. I mean that honestly.
I came in today and painted some more on the little girl. It's going to be the second day. Look at those big white brush strokes. Look at that brush stroke. Character of a person in brush strokes. Look at that apple. We could take a bite out of it. It's just brush strokes. I think I'll call this painting Stella. The name is Stella. But I'm gonna call my painting Stella with an R. I'll come back and look at it tomorrow and see if I'm done. But I'm using that live canvas. And it seems to be working. Graham oils, Robert Simmons signet brushes, and live canvas from Breathing Color. Seems to hold the paint well. Stapled it on the side. Well, I finished the painting of Precious and uh, Life Canvas has been awesome. It's a great product. I hope you guys consider Breathing Color and their new Artist Canvas, Life Canvas. I find it, the luminosity is one of the most important things that it offers. It has everything else, but the luminosity is incredible.